Hi guys, so I recently uh, did a review tutorial of this tonic die set, the Pot of Happiness set. And in that video, um, I created a card with the sweet little tulips, like a little field of tulips, which really uh, darling. But the intention of this set, I mean, you can do whatever you want with it, of course, is to make the little Pot of Happiness that's like a 3D kind of structure that's going to be really sweet. So I promised you guys I would come back and show you how to do that. So I'm going to do that today. Uh, basic construction, we'll, you know, do the flowers and things, but just kind of want to show you how you're going to put it together. Um, Initially, this was free of charge for my review, and of course, like I say, all opinions are my own, and the links on the description box are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchased items to those links. And I do have one other item I want to show you today because I didn't have it at the time, but if you are a craft kit member or if you sign up for the craft kit this month and it depends when you're watching I'm talking about March of 2022 um, you will receive a free tote now, I'm not talking about this set I'm just talking about the craft kit okay the spring meadow craft kit uh, delicate decor box um, and I'll put a link to that video uh, if you're curious but you are also receiving a free tote bag with that craft kit this is a showcase I'm not talking about this I'm talking about the craft kit but I did want to show it to you guys because you know, here we are, and I have it now, so I would like to show that. So if you are a craft kit member, you'll be receiving this beautiful little tote bag. Look at this. I mean, it's a nice size, actually. Let me measure this for you. I say little because I always, you know, put things in diminutive, so it's cute, right? But uh, we have 12. It's about 14 inches, I would say, wide. And then the height is, let me see, 12-ish there, maybe... 15 and a half, 16 inches tall. And of course, just a little tote bag here with the sweet Tonic Studios logo with that beautiful orange heart there. And it says tonicstudios.com at the bottom. So that is just a free gift that will be arriving with your uh, Spring Meadow craft kit if you sign up this month or if you already receive it. And yeah, that's what you'll be uh, getting. So it'll be in there with it. Um, of course, your craft kit goodies, right? So. This is a sample, and um, again, I've already gone through it before, so this is not an unboxing uh, kind of thing. I'm just going to get right to it. Yours will have inspo. It'll have a beautiful cover on the inside. It'll have the um, instruction. So I do have a copy of the instruction now, and it's uh, very basic. You know, I think I am going to build up the um, pot outside the outer portion before we do the inner portion. That way, when we're ready, we'll just stick it together. So we'll go through that. It is showing you here you need one of your decorative front or whatever you want to put on the front. You need this insert piece, you need another insert piece, and then you need um, a couple of these guys. <laughs> and then, you know, if you're going to do um, the little, oh, I don't have some, <laughs> I was going to show it to you guys, but uh, enjoy your day. You know, whatever it is that you want to put on this little area. What happens is this actually pops up um, as you pull it with this pull tab. It goes up and down. That's what this uh, aperture, this hole that you're cutting in there this is going to help you do. If you want to use it or if not, you know, you don't have to do that. You can just make it a 3D thing. I think even this die right here by itself would make a really cute little pocket or you know, however you want to decorate it. But we'll talk about that once we get there. So I do have this kind of as a guideline, um, but that's what you'll be receiving. And it's usually black and white, but obviously the inspo is in color. Uh, so let me bring this out. And immediately when I saw this, I'm thinking, okay, a pot, I need to use the Ginger Pie Classic card because it, it has a very much terracotta, brownish, reddish, orangey kind of tone to it so i'll be using the classic card in ginger pie and i think there's this little area i might use accents of this is all i'm trying to say the sienna treasure because it's also very much a color i would make a pot with but if you can see it's very um metallic and gorgeous so i'm going to bring this out let me grab one sheet i am making the mechanism and everything the same color so it all just kind of blends together but if you want to make the inside of your pot a different color you know whatever it is and then you decorate it. So, like I said, I don't really have... <laughs> I don't know why I don't have an image to show you guys right now. But after you put it together, you can put little flowers or while you're building it. However is easiest for you to put that part together, do that, right? These are just, you know, I'm just going to walk through it here. And whatever shortcuts you find would be great. Um, okay, so, like I said, I do want the outer portion. They're saying if you're going to do a decorative piece, obviously you're going to do your inlay or whatever it is that you want to do. There's all these different pieces. I think for right now, like I said, I'm going to keep it super basic. I might come back in and maybe pop something on the front, but I kind of want to just keep it like a terracotta pot. Just um, what you would imagine a terracotta pot. So we have this guy. We have this larger die. And then we have an inner die right here. So we're going to be using this guy too. We have this piece that's going to help us with our mechanism. You have this like inlay piece. So all these pieces we're going to talk about 
um, as we go through. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna use this guy a couple times. This is, the, again, the largest die, and then this is the smaller one. You can see they nest together. We need one um, just plain, and then if you're gonna decorate it, of course, you do another inlay one, but I'm gonna do one just like this. We need one of these guys just like this, so, you know, maybe I'll fit it in there just to save some paper. We also need this guy right here. And it does need to have that slot that we just saw this piece. So they are separate. That way you can do whatever you want with this. Maybe if you want to make a little pocket, like I said, or a little something else, you have that option. Um, it doesn't just cut the hole for you if you want to use it a different way. So we do need this guy. We need one of him with this together. And whenever I put dies like this together, of course, we tape it so that it does not move. You do not want these dies, one going under the other or anything like that, because it could damage the die, it could damage your machine, right? So we definitely don't want that to happen. So, you know, whenever I tape something like this down, I always tape it in a way that assures they don't move. Okay? You can tape it towards the center, however. And then we're going to need another uh, two of these. And both of these, when we cut them, need to have this piece over here inlaid in them. <laughs> so let me take this little sticky off. I'll be right back. Okay, so we need two of these, and if you want them to be exactly the same, you can um, take this and just double up your paper and put this on that, tape it down, and run it through so that you have two that are going to be exactly the same. The cut is in the exact same spot, which is probably what I will do, so I'll put that off. But we do need two just like this. Again, tape it down so they don't move. I'm just trying to get all the basic pieces so when I come back, we'll do that part, and then we'll do like the mechanism and everything. Um... And then we do need our sides and our bottom part. So this is the base. So again, I'm going to cut it also from our uh, ginger pie paper. And then we need two of this guy. Okay. So I'll cut two of those. These are our side pieces. This is the very bottom of the thing. So we need two of those. Uh, that's all I'm going to cut for right now. So I have all like our basic kind of pot pieces. And then... Um, we'll come back and do the other pieces that are like the slider bar and these other areas that we need. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have our pieces here and like I was showing you there, I just layered up these two so that they're exactly the same. Let me take this off carefully. All right, so now we have those two. Basically, we're going to layer these together, and our mechanism is going to sandwich in here, um, the little tab part of it, so it's just for decoration. And then we have these guys, so what I'm going to... Okay, so we have the two sides. We have a base at the bottom. We have this little guy that is going to go along with this, and that's part of the mechanism, so I'm going to put these to the side for right now, but I just want to cut these larger pieces along with the pot pieces. But these two guys are going to go together, these little guys. And this is um, the front, basically, because the back is going to have the holes there. So I'm just going to put this part together. If you, you know, decide that that doesn't work for you, you want to do this after the mechanism and add it in a different way, <laughs> that's up to you for right now. I'm just going to do the very basic uh, putting this together. And then I'm going to wrap this around the mechanism when we're when we're there. So, um, which are kind of like well, no, I guess in the instructions they're doing the mechanism part first, and then you do this part and add it. So, again, however you like. Okay. So just like anything else, we're just going to add these guys together down here. And whenever I do this, and you know, I know you guys are always like, oh, it's so straight or whatever it is. I just, you know, I put it together. I use a wet glue because it lasts longer. I think it keeps up sturdier. Unless you rip it, it's not going to open up. And then I look on the back and I just make sure that they're just lined up, like right on the edge, you know? Like if they were flat, it'd be like this. But when you go to fold it, that it just makes sense. It looks nice, you know? So there's that one. And then this guy. And again, I just kind of give it a little bit of a zhuzh so that the glue kind of spreads a little bit. I kind of can see that that's pretty perfect when I turn it over. You know, I can see this is a little bit too out, so I'm going to push it back that way. 
and now it's right on the edge and then just give it a good look and that looks great so making sure that stays together and whatever's gonna be the front and the back so I am gonna put the front one on I don't know that I'm gonna put the back one on quite yet um, to be honest I don't know that it matters but yeah well let's go ahead and do that it just you know depends on your preferences a lot of times so again all the nice parts of the card stock like the texture card are facing out so we're gonna put this on here this is our front and again I just look on the other side just seeing how nice and lined up that is right to the edge and I'm gonna glue one of these back pieces again the nice side facing out same just along this tab okay so this piece again will help us sandwich in our little um, mechanism so we'll use this in a minute so I'm gonna put these guys to the side for now and then we're gonna work with these guys so again the small guy this guy is like a little french fry box um, and now we're gonna need a couple of these pieces here and if you look at your instructions it says you need um, two of the slider plate which is this little guy right here and I'll probably bring up the <laughs> I was gonna say I'll probably bring up the uh, little adhesive with it so we need this guy um, and this is all mechanism so we need one of the slider bar and then one of this they didn't give it a name but it's basically a little pull tab part of it um, so we need this guy and as you can see he's gonna have a series of folds mountain and valley folds or up and down whatever you want to call them but it has all these little um, score lines there and then we need this guy right here and you know this does come on a magnetic sheet if you want to take these off I, I just tend to keep them so I take them off but you don't have to keep that you can just put them on the magnetic sheet and Sorry, yeah, but that's that. for shipping purposes to you know, keep them there there um let's see and I believe that's it for right now so I'm gonna make these the same color as everything but if you you know want to change it up that's up to you uh, do whatever you need but I'm going to cut two of this one of this and one of this and we're gonna put our mechanism together and just go from there okay guys I'll get a little bit closer we have this guy we're gonna use in just a minute we have this piece that's all scored and stuff we have these two little guys and then this one so we're gonna start off with this guy and I don't know if you look at the score lines you can kind of see that they echo each other like this one this one these two and then these guys so what you're gonna do is just fold this and it shows you there in the picture so we're gonna fold this here right in those center lines and we're gonna take one of these guys um, I think this is gonna be buried inside so I don't know that it matters which side goes facing this way you know the nice side or the rough side uh, let me look let me take a quick look at that and I'll be right back yeah I don't think it matters on this one so either side uh, I'm gonna open these guys up if you need to open them up a little bit more you can definitely do that but this paper slides right in really nicely so basically we're gonna put this in here and we're gonna put this guy in here so either side of the tab if you want to put some glue in here you know go for it but I think it's gonna get glued sandwiched in anyway so it's not super necessary but if you want to put a little glue under there you could have done that now we have this and then what it's showing is that we have those two little notches right so you're gonna score on those lines towards inside because these two little pieces are gonna glue together <laughs> so these two areas here so we have that okay and we're gonna put a little glue just in that little area and glue these guys together so it's just in there and put them together <laughs> just that easy and while I'm holding that um, we're also going to bring in uh, the other pieces and stuff like that but I'll hold it for a minute well, obviously we have everything ready to go it is showing in step three if you want to glue the pop-up stick on here you can do that now um, you're going to be holding on to it while you're kind of doing your thing or you can add it afterwards so you can see exactly where it's going to pop up from so for now I'm going to stick to this but if you wanted to do the this little guy you can get him ready and stick him on but um, he would stick on here but for right now I'm not gonna do that I think he's all sturdy and ready to go again if you want to add your pop-up he would be here and you'd put that stick here okay on this side I'm gonna put that to the side for just a moment um, this one too 
And next we're going to work with basically this one. So again, front side of the pot. This is going to be on the inside. It's going to be buried in there. You're not going to see it too much, but this is the nice side. So I'm going to take a moment to score these. Okay, all around, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've already done that. And we have this little shape, and this is going to ultimately get stuck on this. It looks nice and finished. I mean, that's just an extra step. If you honestly didn't want to use this small piece, remember this is the small die, you could probably just stick this right to this, and that's fine. But I think to add to the sturdiness and just the finished look, you know, we can put it on here. And that's ultimately going to get glued to there. So, you know, we have um, this little shape. I don't know if you need to do anything else with it other than that. I think that's good. So, um... Step five is showing you that you're going to bring this little guy in and you're going to bring him through here, right? This is the nice side. We're going to bring him through here and just, you know, give it a turn so it sticks. And that's why your little stick, the pop-up stick, should be glued this way along here, right? Because it's going to come up here. And that's basically essentially what we're doing here, just this. Okay. Um, now I'm trying to think, do I want to go ahead and finish it up or just... Yeah, I think at this point what I'll do is I'll go ahead and glue it to this base. Just so we have that sturdy and ready to go. Adding a little glue here. I'm just going to pop this on here. Before I move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to hold that down just for a little bit. And we're only adding the glue just where you saw that I did because this needs to still move, right? And then it's also dimensional, so obviously it's on the glue tabs. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have this piece. Now I'm going to veer off a little bit from the instructions, but what they're showing you in the instruction, of course, I already changed what I was doing anyway because I finished my pot on the outside. But what they're saying is that this next pot, uh, part here in part five is to go ahead and glue this on here and bring this forward so you know, obviously, it's where it needs to be, and this is great. You know, it's all ready to go. Um, Sorry, but if I do that, I'm going to hold on to it and do, you know, add this little guy on, which isn't difficult. As you can see, I'm not going to glue it down right now. But what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and add it on here, and then we'll just twist it to put it in, just like we did here. You know, we kind of slid it from the back, but we'll twist it a little bit. So now what we're going to do is open these guys up. And it's basically the same as what you saw before. I'm going to go ahead and score these lines. Um, if you look at the shape... It's pretty much the same as what's coming off of here, right? That little kind of diamond shape. So we're going to take this guy and add it on, just like we did before. It's just basically finishing that up. And let's see. Oh, there we go. And then this guy on this side. And there we go. Okay. And then we're just going to glue this together. So you want to put a little glue first. Kind of like I mentioned before, if you want to put glue underneath, you can. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to add glue over here. So I did it up in the air, like just out here instead of on after it's attached to this. Just because I didn't want to have everything kind of flopping around here for you guys. But whatever you find to be easier, you know, do that. And I'm going to hold on to that for a little bit. Wait until that sets up, and I'll be right back. And basically, we're on step between step seven and eight here because I'm kind of mixing these together. So we're going to take this guy, and this is the actual tab because right now you don't have something holding on to help you <laughs> raise and lower this. So right down the center, there's a score line, and then out on either side, right? And then there's these little score lines, and I'm just going to fold those up. So just give you a little look. It looks like a little bird. <laughs> And I like to put glue pretty much all over everything, but basically here. Just to hold on to that for a little bit. And then basically what is going to happen here is this is going to glue onto this and wrap around. Okay. So if you can kind of see what's going on there. I'll be right back. Okay. And now this part, I think I'm just going to do this all at once. So I'm going to put glue all over this. Glue on the inside, which is basically going to be the back of the tab. And we're going to take this piece and just pop this on here, right down the center. And I'll cover that area up. So I'm covering basically where that tab was underneath. Right. And I'm going to hold it all together at once because I'm using a white glue. But basically, that's what's going to have you lifting it. I don't want to mess with it too much right now, but it's going to have... Uh, that's where you're going to hold it to lift and lower it, okay? I'll be right back. All right, guys, so there is our little guy. 
kind of fun little mechanism here. We're going to get this in just a minute. I'll bring this guy back. So basically we're going to put this in here. We're going to glue it to that wall and bring this up over here. But let's go ahead and insert this. So basically I'm just going to turn this in a way that I can get it into this little hole. Just like that. And then turn it up. Turn it up. And then that is going to glue to there and that's going to glue here. And again, you know, you're going to kind of find the spot where it fits the best. To me, it stays up a little bit, like maybe a quarter inch or so from the base. Because if I put it any lower, and if you saw, it kind of brings it in too much. So I think it needs to be settled in just a little bit higher than that. Yeah. Something like that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this. I'm just going to go for it. Again, I already put my whole outside together. That's why I'm doing this. A little bit different again just a little bit higher up whatever seems to make sense yeah it's just like about a quarter inch from that base piece down there and then while I'm here that's gonna hold on pretty good we have our tabs we can bring that up and we can glue that down and then this one if you want to glue the tabs in so that they are tucked in you can just, you know what I'm saying, glue on this outside, or you can do it on the inside just like the first one. However you want to do this part that makes sense to you. What I'm going to do is sandwich them on that second part. So for this one, I'm going to glue just right down in. Ah. Just to finish that off. So I'm going to bring that in here. Bring that in here. And I'm going to hold those for just a little bit until they're set up, and then we'll finish up this uh, back side. This is essentially the back, and this is the front of your pot. Okay, and I just took a little tool, maybe a pencil or whatever, and just kind of made sure that that's touching really well there. And on this side, I'll put a little glue on the inside tab, or actually I'll just put it on this the paper here at the very edge because I'm going to glue my tabs like this. And then this guy is going to go on top of this, but you only want the glue basically on the edge because you don't want to stop your little mechanism from working. So just, you know, pretty much very edges. Maybe a little more on this one. And I'm just going to catch it on one of the tabs. Bring in my other tab. And bring this up. Okay, so I'm holding that back panel, the panels together. Again, it's going to be open in here because you got to let this slide. So even though there's like a, it's like opening here, don't worry about that. You just want the very edges to be glued, okay? I'll be back once it's set up. Okay, I think I'm ready. So basically, that's our little mechanism. This is the front. Again, we have all the decorative layers we can add on here, whatever it is that you want to do. And then um, you just have <laughs> this little guy that lowers and lifts your little pop-up uh, sign or whatever you can fit that will fit in there right that you can glue to that I mean basically anything that'll just go right back in there that you want to glue to this mechanism now I'm waiting till I'm done to glue it on but if you want to glue it on again before then do that um, like they mentioned here in step three basically so uh, let me grab some papers to do some decorative stuff with and I'll be right back so um, what I'm gonna do is cut this guy this band and what this does is you can have it just like this or you can put this guy on here and it kind of goes around this edge so I'm gonna cut this guy out of the uh, Sienna treasure I need two of these so I'm gonna do that um, and then for the sign I have this piece here or little sign and I'm gonna use this guy and cut out of this gold paper and then I'm gonna run it through again from the screen paper but this time I'll put the inlay so essentially you don't need the whole thing if you want uh, just a little background like on this gold I could just cut this area and then cut this whole green or however you want to do it to layer it up but I'm just going to cut both of them just completely so that one and then this one I'm going to tape down the pieces of course so they don't move and I'll run this through and then um, I'll use this flower today since I used the tulip last time and I'm going to take the little flower again it has little ice creams cute little stuff to go along with that we have hello you we have have a cool um, birthday I think is what it says so and going back to that we have this little texture that looks like kind of waffle cone or you can just use like, like a lattice look and then this one down here 
This is uh, You Are Blooming Lovely, which is very cute. Um, again, this nestles into like the smaller die area, and you can pop around the front of your um, uh, pot or however. I'm going to cut this out of several different colors. I think I'm going to cut two of each, so our little flower has two layers. So two of this one, two of this one, and two of this one. And possibly this as a center. And we have this little flower center, we have this center, whatever it is, I'll come back with those. So let me cut those out and I'll be right back. Different items here. I'm going to just glue this to this. So you enjoy your day with a little gold background. Just glue them together. Um, our little flowers, and this is for my edging in a little bit. And for the flowers, I did cut the greenery too. I forgot to mention that. Uh, for the tulips, you know, we have it like this. For this one, it's very cute to put it like maybe like this. You can also do it like this if you want. Whatever it is that works for you. I think I want the greenery up at top because that way it'll kind of fill in this top area. So I'm going to place it that way. Um, I am going to uh, play with these just a little bit. And what I'm going to do, hopefully, is spray a little water. And I'm going to do this for all the different ones. Just a little water. Just like the smallest amount. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to turn this over. And you know what? I didn't even grab. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just kind of go around. And this is the back side. You can do whatever you like. You can leave them flat. Just layer them up. Whatever it is you want to do. I'm just going to go around here. I'm going to do them all just like this. And when I turn them over, basically we're going to flatten that out. But it doesn't really have to be flattened out. But something like that. Just to give it some texture. And I'll do that to all of them, okay? I'll be right back. Finish that last one. And they dry up pretty quick, so I just do a little spray. And the reason I put the water is kind of helps break up the fibers, but whatever it is. You know, this would be really cute, too, layered up in different colors. I was just going to do each flower, you know, each color, which is great uh, also. So I'm just going to glue these guys together. And I cut these little gold centers from that gold circle. That's not a gold circle. From the circle die <laughs> that's in the kit. And again, just kind of offsetting them so that you have more blossom power there and then it looks like a pretty good amount of glue for this guy to be in the center and that's it that's what i'm gonna do for all of them okay i'll be right back once these guys are all together okay guys look how cute these are oh my gosh can you see that just on a card i mean adorable uh so i put those there and all i did was just glue a little glue here and just put it at the lowest part of the flower that i could you know to give it some height so like Right there is probably a good place for that to stay. And just hold it for a little bit and make sure it's staying. And then we have this guy ready. And then this portion. So this is the front because this is the back. Obviously, we're going to have that lever on the back. And so what I'm going to do is put this piece onto the back so when it wraps around, we have the score lines. Um, once I glue it on, then this piece that wraps around the front won't have this rough edge showing, you know what I'm saying? Like the way it's facing out this way, if that makes sense. But for right now, I'm still I'm going to go ahead and stick this guy down first. So we have that lever, and we're sticking this to that lever, right? To that area that, basically the area that looks like this, but in here. <laughs> now that's why you could have done it earlier and just had it there kind of hanging as you're working or stick it on now. And then it also gives you an idea of how far up you're getting this going you know, where you want to place it. So for me, I'm going to put glue all over just as bottom edge because I really want it to hold on, obviously. Oh. And I'm just going to put it right on that lever. Just kind of push. And I have it straight up and down, but you can, you know, put it at a little jaunty angle, if you will. So I'm going to hold that just for a second because that's what's, you know, me pushing it like this is helping it touch, make contact there. And it's still wet. Obviously, it's wet glue, but we can give it a little a little bit of a go. And then our little tag goes down, and it goes up. And, I mean, you can put it lower down if you want, if you want the whole thing to really uh, hide away when it's down like this. But um, I am still adding this piece, so, uh, you know, that's fine. But, like I said, if you want it lower down, then put it down lower, right? The stick, um, glue it down a little bit lower. I'm going to let that set up before I continue on, but I'll be right back. And this guy is just on the edge. I'm putting the glue on here, but if you want to put the glue on the very edge of the outside of your pot, you can do that. I'm putting it right on the edge because basically it's just like right here. <laughs> right? And then smoothing these sides down. And I'm going to hold that, let it set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, and now for this one, I'm going to put glue all over the tab because we're going to meet it up with this other one 
and then just on the very bottom edge and I'm gonna have this laying down like this so I can see exactly what I'm doing we're gonna place that on there and then just wrap it around so that the tabs meet up and that's why I did it the way I did so that this goes forward and then you know this rough edge is kind of back there instead of putting this one on first and then having the rough edge of the back one come forward <laughs> hope that makes sense just looks a little cleaner okay I'm gonna hold that down and I'll be right back okay guys so here's this you know our basic little portion look at that oh you know what I can let you know the size of this of course you don't have to use the mechanism at all you can just do like a little 3d box that's like this without any of this or any of this cutting here and it could just be something that you put some cute things in <gasps> some seed packets oh you guys know I love <laughs> I'm putting the seed packets in there. Um, so the way I created it with that top lip, it is just four inches tall about, and at the very top, three and a half inches. The base, it's like two and three quarters ish, and it's about one and a half inches deep. So really nice uh, for a little gift box if that's what you want to do. But of course, we're making ours, you know, more of a 3D cutie card. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna put these guys in here. And I just kind of want to lay it down to show you. Basically, I'm just going to glue them down so that they're in here. And I'm going to glue them against the back panel. Of course, clearing the area so you're not, you know, in the way of this. Now, if you want to glue things onto this, too, that'll just kind of tuck in, maybe, you know, with it. Go for it, right? Because that'll just <laughs> lift up and down. I'm just going to glue these guys down in the back. I'm just trying to see where. So I'll probably glue two kind of low. Put glue on the back here. Hold it down right two kind of lower and then this guy kind of in the front as high as I can get him right there okay and again just putting glue on the tab and sticking it on okay sorry I'll guys, I did that off camera is because I needed to bring this close to me and I just laid it down just like this and I'll put glue on the back of the flower and hold it down and I basically styled it as it was laying down like this and then put this little guy on top and I barely just did that so he's probably still a little wet there and <laughs> look how cute <laughs> Because I sprayed them, I made them a little heavy, so they're just like moving uh, so cute. So there's that, and then you have your little pull tab. Enjoy your day. Again, I think this is going to be really fun to add lots of different things to on this little uh, mechanism here. But there's that. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped you out, kind of know um, how to work the, the different uh, elements here. And it's just really sweet. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll have the link in the description box. Thank you so much, Tonic, for sending these items for review. And again, um, I'll include the link to the full kind of unboxing, going through everything, uh, everything, every die on the uh, set there in the description box. And um, <laughs> this is just really sweet. Oh my goodness. Look at those little guys. Okay. Have a good one, guys. Bye now.